authority. Welcome on out here. It is week one of high school football action. It is a great night so far. Beautiful evening out here across the region. Right now, the game taking place is Scott County High School versus the Franklin County Flyers. Score right now 14 to zero. About seven minutes left in that second quarter. So we'll see how both of these local teams do tonight. We got another game coming up. Great Crossing takes the field at 845. So a double header here on campus. A lot of fun. We'll have all the highlights, of course, later on. And Colby He's going to talk more about the games overall in sports. But let's turn to your forecast right now. Beautiful outside as we take a look across the home view. Plenty of sunshine, pretty much area wide. Not really a cloud in the sky. Maybe a couple clouds, but other than that, we can't complain. Temperatures also feeling pretty good for us out there as well. Let's talk about those temperatures. 87 degrees, and while it is warmer, you'll want to wear the shorts out there this evening. The humidity is low. We still have that dry air in place. It is 85 right now down in McKee, 83 in London, 81 out in Hazard, and 84 now down in Somerset. Live look at radar here. You can see, oh, we got some action in the crowd. Live look at radar here. It is on a clean sweep. No concerns for any rain out there this evening. And as we take a look at the wider view on satellite and radar, high pressure off the Atlantic coast. It is still in control of our weather across the area this evening. And other than a few passing clouds as we roll into the weekend, really not much to talk about this weekend either, except the warmer temperatures. That summer-like feel is going to make a return for us. So overnight lows tonight, it's not going to be nearly as cold as it was last night or as cool I should say 63 for an overnight low in the city most areas hang out in the lower 60s so that's indicative of those warmer temperatures that are moving in by tomorrow afternoon we're back up near 90 I think most areas stay in the upper 80s but overall it's hotter than it was today so we're starting that climb now the next big thing we're tracking is again those hotter temperatures and it's really gonna move in here starting on Sunday and into next week we'll have plenty of hot weather around pretty much all next week. Those afternoon highs will be in the 90s and unfortunately by Sunday and into Monday that humidity starts to climb for us as well. A look at your seven day forecast. You'll see that here. That's the big trend. Most of the area is staying dry over the next seven days. There's a couple chances for some spotty afternoon storms during the heating of the day. That starts on Tuesday. I think the best chance for that right now is on Wednesday. However, a spotty shower storm can't be ruled out next week. Again, the bigger story though most areas stay dry and we're really just sticking around with those uh, hot temperatures back up some areas even the middle 90s so be ready for that summer is not done with us just yet but hey we're enjoying a nice night out here so far again fun night we got a double header much more coming up Kobe will be in with sports coming up after the break so she'll have that and then I'll have your forecast out here once again at seven o'clock so we're having a lot of fun a lot of excitement for week one of high school football stay with us more Fox 56 after this.